welcome to day 17 of our Lent series. Friday of the second week of Lent, we continue our reflection on prayer. Today we would wish to continue reflecting on ways through which we can pray better, especially this season of Lent. The fourth way is pray for others. Remember to pray for relatives, friends and enemies. Pray for benefactors, especially our spiritual benefactors, the Holy Father, bishops, priests, the religious, and all those through whom God's work is being done. Pray for our countries and those who govern them. Pray for those who have suffered at our hands, especially those who may have suffered spiritually through our bad example. Pray for the souls in the purgatory. Pray for everybody, especially those who have nobody to pray for them, and especially those who have asked us of our prayers. What I'm convinced of is that the way we are, the graces we have in our lives, and the answers to prayers which we have gotten is not only because of our prayers, but because of the prayers of others who are on their knees praying for us, our parents, our religious, our friends. These are the people who have enabled us to be whom we are through their prayers. Thus, praying for others becomes a Christian duty, if not an obligation. The fifth way is assist at Mass as much as possible. Mass is the greatest prayer. In Mass, not only does Christ become pleasant, body and blood, soul and divinity, under the forms of bread and wine, but Christ's saving action, his passion, death and resurrection are once again enacted and offered to the Father by Christ himself in the person of the priest and by all people who are pleasant. This action of Christ, which brought about our redemption from sin and eternal death, offered once and for all on Calvary, becomes present again for us, here and now, in this time and place, so that we can join in Christ's perfect offering and can ourselves participate in his perfect worship. Most wonderful of all, although our offering is in itself imperfect, joined with the offering of Christ, it becomes perfect praise and thanksgiving to the Father. That is the power of Mass. How many times have you gone for Mass this Lent season? I wish you a blessed Lenten season full of prayerful moments. Thank you very much.